Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is an express 20 minute power Pilates class, perfect for when you're short on time but still want to sweat it out. So, when you're ready, roll out your mat and let's begin. Let's start today's class standing at the back of our mat with our feet hip distance apart. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, release, tuck your chin in and carefully roll down over your legs, keeping a soft bend through your knees. Inhale at the bottom and then exhale, roll up vertebra by vertebra. One more deep breath in, reach your arms up. Exhale, release, tuck your chin in and roll down over your legs. Inhale at the bottom and exhale, roll up vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, reach your arms up, and this time exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. On your inhale, straighten your arms, open through your chest. On your exhale, bend your knees and fold forward, allowing your hands to fall back behind you. Just take deep breaths here, feeling a beautiful stretch through your shoulders, your spine, and through the back of your legs. Then carefully release your hands and place them on the mat. On your inhale, straighten your left leg, reach your left arm up to the sky and exhale, release through center. Inhale, straighten your right leg, reach your right arm up, exhale, release through center. One more on each side, inhale, open your left arm, exhale, release, inhale, open through your right arm, exhale, release. Beautiful. Walk your hands forward now, coming into your downward facing dog. Let's take a moment here to pedal our heels, alternate bending our knees, just gently warming up through our body. Really push the floor away from you, lengthening through your spine, activating through your upper body. Let's now melt both heels down towards the floor, keeping a soft bend through your knees if you need to. Stay here for one deep breath in and deep breath out. On your exhale, shift forward to plank, pull your right knee towards your nose, really rounding your spine. Then inhale, press back to downward facing dog. Exhale, shift forward, pull your left knee to your nose. Inhale, press back to down dog. Eight more. As you pull your knee towards your nose, I really want you to think of pulling up through your navel, engaging your abdominals, as well as pressing down with your shoulders, rounding the upper back to activate the upper body. Let's do two more. Exhale, pull. Inhale, press back. Exhale, pull. Inhale, press back. Well done. Ripple your spine forward to plank now, lower your knees and lower down onto your chest. On your inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest up into a beautiful cobra. Then exhale, release your chest down. Inhale, press up and exhale, press back to child's pose. Let's stay here for one deep breath in and deep breath out. Shift your weight forward now to a tabletop position, making sure your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. Draw your navel in, finding that beautiful straight spine, and then extend your left leg back and lift it up so it's in line with your hip. Then reach your right arm forward in line with your ear. Take an inhale to prepare, then exhale, pull elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. Eight more. Keep your gaze towards the top of your mat, making sure that your neck is in line with the rest of your spine. Every time that you pull your elbow towards your knee, think of that rib to hip connection, really drawing your ribs down towards your hips. Let's do three more. Exhale, pull. 
Inhale, extend. Two. And last one. Let's hold everything extended and take little pulses. You lift and lift. Just eight more. Can you find a little bit more length through your leg and through your spine? Four more. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Set your right hand down and keep your left leg extended. On your inhale, bend your elbows, tricep push up, and exhale, press up. Then inhale, pull your left knee out wide towards your left tricep and exhale, extend it back. And again, inhale, bend your elbows, exhale, press. Inhale, pull your left knee out to the side and exhale, extend back. Keep going. As you bend your elbows in your tricep push-up, make sure that they are close to your waistline. That way you're really using your tricep muscles. Keep your left leg beautifully lifted as you lower into your push-up and really make sure that you're still drawing your ribs down to your hips, keeping your core engaged. You're doing really well. Inhale, bend, exhale, press. Inhale, pull, exhale, extend. Let's do two more. What a way to wake up the whole entire body. And last one. Well done, hold your leg extended back and now lower down onto your right forearm. Then pull your left knee forward in line with your hip and on your inhale, lower your knee down and exhale, lift it up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Make sure that your left knee is in line with your hip. That way you're really using the outside of your glutes. Also focus on keeping your chest as parallel to the floor as you can as you keep drawing up through your navel. Let's do two more. And on this last one, hold your knee lifted and take little pulses for 10, nine, little higher, eight, you've got it, seven, six, keep breathing, five, four, three, two, and one, lower your knee down and press back into a child's pose just for a moment. Wiggle your hips side to side, releasing any tension and then shift your weight forward, tuck your toes under and press back to a downward facing dog. On your next inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky, exhale, bend your knee and open your hip, feeling a beautiful release for that left hip. Then shift your weight forward and take your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Lower your hips and on your inhale, reach your left arm up towards the sky, feeling a beautiful stretch for your spine and for your hips. Then return your hand to the floor and step your right foot up to the outside of your mat. Keeping your toes slightly turned out, drop your hips low and come into your squat, reaching your arms by your ears. On your exhale, press up to standing and inhale, squat down. Exhale, press up, inhale, squat down. Keep going. As you lower down into your squat, really shift your weight into your heels, sending your glutes far behind you, but really reach through your arms as you lengthen through your spine. Let's do two more. And last one. Well done, hold low in your squat and you know the drill, let's pulse it out. Four, 10, and nine, eight. Keep pressing down through your heels, squeezing through your glutes. Three more, two, and one. Take your hands to the top of your thighs, and roll your spine up to standing. Walk your feet in now, bend your knees and take all of your weight onto your right leg. Slightly hinge forward from the hips, then reach your arms back behind you and let's tap our left foot back and forward as you swing your arms forward and back. So you're just tapping that left foot back and forward as you swing your arms forward and back. 
Really focus on bending into your right knee here so that you're working the outside of your right glute. Let's do two more and last one. Hold your left leg back now and carefully lower down into a lunge, lengthening through your spine, making sure your right knee is stacked over your right ankle. On your exhale, hinge forward, straighten your back leg as you reach your arms back, then inhale, return to your lunge. So exhale, hinge forward, reach your arms back, then inhale, return to your lunge, lengthening your spine. Let's do two more like this, keeping your right knee nice and bent. And then if you want to, this time as you lean forward, see if you can kick your left leg back. So inhale, lunge, exhale, lean forward, kick your leg back. This requires a lot of balance, so just move at your own pace. Keep bending into your right knee. That right glute is really working hard to keep ourselves stable here. Just two more. And on this last one, hold your leg back if you can. And let's just lift the leg. You lift and lift. Eight more. Seven, keep lengthening through your spine. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Take a big step back. Inhale, reach your arms up, finding a beautiful lunge. Then exhale, take your hands down to the floor and step back to a downward facing dog. Take a moment to pedal your heels here, releasing any tension. Then carefully lower your knees to the floor and let's repeat that series on the other side. So coming to your tabletop position, draw your navel in and find that beautiful flat back. Then extend your right leg back and lift it up in line with your hip. Reach your left arm forward by your ear. Take an inhale to prepare. Then exhale, pull your elbow towards your knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. Eight more. Really think of that rib to hip connection as you pull your elbow towards your knee. Exhale, pull. Inhale, extend. Three more two and last one let's hold our arm and leg extended and take little pulses four ten nine eight can you lengthen through your arm and your leg a little bit more five more four three two and one well done place your left hand on the floor and let's return to our push-up combo so inhale, bend your elbows, tricep push up, exhale, extend. Inhale, pull your right knee towards your right tricep and exhale, extend back. And again, inhale, bend, exhale, press. Inhale, pull your knee forward, exhale, extend back. Eight more. As you lower down into your tricep push up, keep your right leg lifted behind you but make sure that you're not arching through your spine. So keep that rib to hip connection. I know I'm a broken record. You've got it. Pull that right knee out nice and wide, keeping it beautifully lifted. Let's do two more. And last one. Well done. Lower down onto your left forearm now so that it's parallel to the top of the mat and pull your right knee forward in line with your hip. On your inhale, lower your knee. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Eight more. Keep pulling up through your navel, keeping your core engaged. You've got it, two more. Can you lift that knee up a little bit higher? And last one, hold your knee lifted and take little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven. Your glutes should be screaming at you by now. Four more, three, two, 
and one. Excellent job. Lower your knee and press back into a child's pose just for a moment. Wiggle your hips side to side and then shift your weight forward and press back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. Feeling a beautiful release for that right hip. Then carefully take a big step forward with your right foot to the outside of your right hand and lower your hips into a lunge. On your inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky, feeling a beautiful twist for your spine. Then return your hand to the floor and step your left foot forward to the outside of your mat, keeping your toes turned out. Lower down into your squat, reach your arms forward and then press up to standing. Let's now bring our feet together and shift all of our weight into our left leg, keeping our left knee nice and bent. Reach your right leg back and extend your arms forward in line with your ears. Let's tap our foot in and out as you reach your arms back and forward. Eight more like this. Really focus on finding length through your spine as you step your foot back and reach your arms forward. Let's do two more. And last one, hold your leg back. And now let's lower into our lunge, finding that beautiful straight spine, making sure our left knee is stacked over our left ankle. On your exhale, hinge forward, straighten your back leg, reach your arms back. Then inhale, return to your lunge, lifting your chest. Exhale, hinge forward, keep your left knee bent. Inhale, lunge. Two more like this, and then we'll add that leg lift. Last one. Here we go. Exhale, shift forward, kick your right leg back, and inhale, lower into your lunge. Exhale, shift forward, kick your back leg, inhale, lunge. Just four more like this. You can do it. Keep your left knee bent, working through that left glute. Two more. And on this last one, let's hold our right leg lifted and take little pulses up and up. Eight more. You can do it. Seven. Six, keep drawing your navel in. Four, three, two, and one. Take a big step back. Inhale, lift your arms up into a beautiful lunge. Exhale, take your hands to the floor and press back into downward facing dog. Well done, everyone. Let's ripple our spine forward to plank, lower our knees and come down onto our belly. Roll your shoulders back, press through your hands, and lift your chest into a beautiful cobra stretch. One more deep breath in and exhale carefully lower back down. Then press yourself up, cross your legs behind you and let's come on to our glutes. We're going to finish class today with a little bit of ab work. So let's hold on to the back of our thighs and roll down onto our back. Separate your feet hip distance apart, bend your knees and find your neutral spine position. Interlace your hands behind your head with your elbows wide and really draw your ribs down to your hips. Inhale to prepare and then exhale, lift your head and shoulders up. Inhale, lower and exhale, lift. Here comes Remy, just in time for the ab section. Beautiful, as you lift your head and shoulders up, Make sure that your chin is slightly dropped down towards your chest, so you're taking your gaze towards the top of your thighs. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lower. Let's do two more. And last one. Beautiful. Let's hold in our curl now and lift our legs to a tabletop position with our knees just over our hips. On your exhale, extend your right leg, reach your arms forward, then inhale, return your hands behind your head and bend your knee. Exhale, extend your left leg, reach your arms forward. Inhale, return through center. Eight more. And seven, you can do it. 
Really try to lift those shoulder blades up off the floor, forcing our abdominals to work really hard. Just two more, you can do it. Exhale, curl, inhale, center. Exhale, curl, inhale, center. Keep your hands behind your head and on your exhale, lower your head down, tap your toes down to the floor. Inhale, curl up and then exhale, curl up a little higher and reach your arms forward. And inhale, take your hands behind your head. And again, exhale, lower down, tap your toes to the floor. Inhale, curl up. Then exhale, curl up a little bit higher and reach your arms forward. Keep going. We're only gonna do three more of these because I'm feeling particularly nice. Two more. Can you curl up a little bit higher? And last one. Well done. Return your hands behind your head and let's now take some bicycles. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center. Now take three quick, 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 quick. Well done. Two slow. Twist to the right. Center, twist to the left. Center. And now three quick, 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 quick. Beautiful job. Two more. We're almost at the end of class, so stay with me. And last one like this. You can do it. Well done. Now let's just finish with quick bicycles. Here we go. You twist, twist, twist and twist. You can do it. Nice inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Let's do 10 more. Nine, this is it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Hug your knees in, rest your head and take deep breaths. You did so well. Give yourself a nice big hug here. Then when you're ready, place your left foot on the floor, cross your right foot over your left thigh and flex your foot. Then hug your left knee in towards your chest, holding on to the back of your thigh or onto your left shin. And just enjoy this beautiful stretch for your glutes. Then carefully release, cross your right knee over your left, drop your knees to the left as you look over your right shoulder. Breathing into this beautiful twist for your spine. Then return through center and let's switch sides. Cross your left foot over your right thigh and hug your right knee in. Then carefully lower your right foot, cross your left knee over your right, drop your legs to the right as you look over your left shoulder. Then carefully return through center, hug your knees in, and let's rock the length of our spine up to seated. Find a comfortable cross-legged position on your mat, sitting up nice and tall. Then inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky and exhale, side bend over to the left. Other side, inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, side bend over to the right. Beautiful job. Return through center and let's now finish class like always. On your inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands down to your heart. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's quick paced Power Pilates class. If you would like to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I hope you have the most beautiful day.